All right, so if this is right, and we got validate fields, how about we clear the form once we're done? So to do that, you can easily do that through either um, getting each text box and just clearing it. So you could do it like this, so tb underscore first name dot clear. For the first one, tb underscore last name dot clear. It's another way. And I'll have to loop through back through each one of these. So for each. And we just want to not check it anymore. So if rb dot checked, then we want rb dot checked is equal to false and that should do it so if we hit start again let's do andrew do smith mail Oops. then we hit submit and there we go it's gone we got our form validation working and all that now, as you go along, you might notice that there's a better way of making this form validation, and that's all right, too. You could maybe figure out how to select, uh, similar to this, you could do for each loops and just loop through the entire form's uh, text boxes based on the type of control it is, which could be radio button, it could be anything. But this is how we're doing it for this form, and yes. So maybe um, instead of printing everything out the console, maybe we would rather have um, a, like a box appear with the information in it. So in order to do that part, um, we can comment out these lines of code. We could, well, we don't even really need to comment those out, but we can comment them out for now. And we could add in underneath this what is called a message box. The message box is pretty straightforward. So you diffuse message box dot show. Inside of here, you can put a lot of different things. So if you look, if you hover over dot show, you can see that we can put in the text, we can put in a caption, we can put in buttons if we want. Um, icons, another button, all that kind of stuff. For this we can just do text. So if you just do text, it'll just stick with the default message box. But you can definitely look up more information on this to uh, do other things such as maybe instead put, um, I think a cancel button or yes or no buttons instead of the default. So in this case, let's do first name is, and then um, we'll just do that, and then we'll put first name. Next, we'll do last name. Maybe put a little space in there. Oops. And let me put a colon for is. Last name, last name, and last, we'll do gender, and that will be selected. All right, awesome, we got all these different values here. If we go to if validate fields, we can also do an else statement here, so we do else. And we could do message box dot show and you we could give them a message if they didn't enter all the fields in. So please fill out the fields in the form. In the form. All right, let's 
so we can also add a caption here maybe we can say alert I don't know something of that nature and done okay, we got our message box there now if we do this we can hit OK it'll clear the form out again but if we type in all the or only some of the fields that it'll give us this message and it'll say alert right there which is pretty cool hit OK again maybe um maybe we would want to align the message boxes in the center of this form so as you can see right here if we go into here and hit submit we'll notice that the uh like alert box and the other one if we successfully entered all the information in will appear in the center of this screen instead of the, the parent form so in order to fix this i think you would go to your form here and if we do start position we can do center screen or center parent would be probably better because this the windows form parent would be this whole entire screen and that will align everything up with the message box so if we hit start again we can type in anything let's just do that submit that didn't work now i think it's because we did the start position center parent now if we go do center screen that should work start up again there we go center screen Andrew Smith, mail, submit, and ta-da, we um, successfully have a message here. So if we hit OK, there we go. The next thing we might want to do is lock the size of this form so that when we maximize it, it doesn't look like this, and our whole styling just looks awful. In order to do that, we can get out of there make sure you select the form and we want to disable the uh, maximize box button which is right here so to do that we can do this set that to false that should be good for the button and that should not let us select it or make it bigger using the button. I think I did the wrong one. Yes, I did. But, uh, yeah, I did. did. Minimize. Let's do maximize. False. Okay. So as you can see here, we cannot uh, click this button to maximize this, but we can still um, drag this border around to make it move. And in order to get rid of that, uh, from ha like prevent that from happening, if we go to the border style, which is right here, you see that it says sizable. So if we go here, we clicked fix single, and we hit start again. We cannot click that border and we cannot uh, make it bigger or smaller and our form looks 